Hey YouTube, it's me, Lane here with another Storytime vlog. Let's just get started on the Nutcracker. I know all of you like Nutcracker movies and all that. Well, this is a book called The Nutcracker. So if it's any time, let's get to it. Once there was a little girl named Clara, whose family is having a wonderful party on a snowy Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, she said, as she greeted each guest. The last guest to arrive is Clara's godfather, her dressmaker. All the children loved him very much because he is a, was a toy maker and a wonderful storyteller. Clara thought he could even perform magic. Merry Christmas, Clara, he said, presenting her with a heavy package. Merry Christmas and thank you, Clara cried, lifting a large wooden nutcracker from the wrappings. He looks very brave soldier, she said. And so he is, her dress on the side. Just then, the, ma the ma musicians began to play. Lovely tune and all gowns up began to dance. Clara carried her nutcracker over where her cousins and her friends were applying with her. New toys holding them carefully, softly, hummed. Christmas Carol. All suddenly, Clara's little brother Fritz jumped up and down behind the chair and grabbed the nutcracker. No, Fritz, no, cried Clara as she's tasting him, seeing all, all the two running after Fritz. But Nutcracker was too heavy, and Fritz was little boy Nutcracker crashed into a floor and broke. Whereas Ellie picked it at the end of Nutcracker and showed her dress of mine. Why, Clara, he said, trying to put the handkerchief around the, around the broken jaw. Many good soldiers get hurt in battle. There's bandage. There will be, and you will be his nurse. And he laughed and wiped the tears, and wiped her tears away, and he handed the nutcracker back to her. Clara was a little good, good little nurse, and she gently tucked him up the nutcracker in the doll's bed and had it and had received a Christmas present, stayed stay by his side by his side until the guests are gone. Then she kissed him good night and went up to bed. But Clara could not sleep thinking about the nutcracker. She went back down the stairs and creeped and left and left him I was loved that. Then she curled up in the sofa and fell asleep with the nutcracker in her arms. Do you know how many versions they are? Let me know in the comments or just say yes. While Clara was sleeping, her, her dress and I came into the room quietly. Took the handkerchief off the nutcracker stuff and gently waved over Clara's new toy son. The nutcracker transformed into a handsome prince, standing over Clara while she slept. Later that night, Clara woke up the house. The tree and the toys seemed to be getting larger and trenches and mice were running all over the room. She saw Prince bringing a bag of mice wearing a cloth. Leave him alone, Clara shouted, and I was looking at the mouse. Jumped off the sofa and threw her slipper at the mouse king. 
hitting him gravely in the head. He fell before it. The other mice ran and carried their leader. <laughs> Thank you for your help, said Clara. The, pick, the said to the prince, pick it up the crown falling from the mouse king's head. I would like to invite you to live sweets and sugar plums, fairies who ruin until I have returned. The prince placed a crown at Clara's head and changed her into a beautiful shimmering dress. Together they stepped outside of falling snow and whisked around. Then their pretty white dance traveled a magic sleigh into a beautiful land of sweets. When Clara and the prince arrived, they greeted by a beautiful sugar plum fairy. The prince told her about the battle and the giant mouse, how Clara has had saved him from the mouse king. Hooray for Clara, the people of the land of sweets. Led Clara and the prince to to sit in candy cane thrones, began celebration, performing beautiful dances, and lasted long into the evening. The college town of Tuscaloosa, home to the University of Alabama, where today the mayor looked around and said, entire neighborhoods have been removed from the map. Spanish dishes served by chocolates, flung with flares, perform and whip. Oh, and Russian dancers did spin like candy cane dances, jumping high into the air. Remember that theme song that goes with this song? The end of the evening, Sugar Plum and Fairy twirled briefly in the quaver. quaver. Clara sided with and when she watched the beautiful time. Now we must depart, the prince told Clara, but one day we will return to the land of sweets. As the two rode up to the magical sleigh, Clara felt she was in a beautiful dream on Christmas Eve she will never forget. Now it's the end of that book. I promise you we will get more. The Thomas and Friends book should be right in the meantime. If you want to do that, give it if you want me to read that book, give us a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And hopefully hopefully a little more Christmas books to come. So do you have a favorite Christmas book? Let me know in the comments. Or you can just or you can just just look at it. Okay? I'll see you next time in Storytime Vlog.